On day one as president, expectedly, Joe Biden has already initiated the process to have the U.S. rejoin the Paris Climate Accord. And additionally, this even surprised me, but he tanked the Keystone XL pipeline, which I was not expecting because when you have the Canadian prime minister basically pushing for this pipeline, I would have expected Joe Biden to kind of have an easy out and think, well, you know, I'm working with our closest partner and our neighbor but he tanked it. So this is all great. It's a really big deal. The Paris Climate Accord is by no means like the end-all be-all, but I think that any step forward, any progress that we make, even if it's small, that is better than not making any progress, or in the case of Donald Trump, even going backwards, undoing what little progress we've made. So as Alexander C. Kaufman of HuffPost reports, hours after his inauguration Wednesday, President Joe Biden signed an executive order to rejoin the Paris Climate Agreement ending the United States' brief but symbolic exit from the global pact to slash planet heating emissions that virtually every nation has joined. So basically what happens is Joe Biden signed the executive order, which basically tells the UN that we intend to rejoin the Paris Climate Accord, and then it takes 30 days, and then once again we will formally be a signatory and a party to the Paris Climate Accord. It's that simple. So this is really good news, uh, but of course, since Republicans deny the reality of anthropogenic climate change, at least one of them took the time to shit on Joe Biden for this. Now, I'm all about dunking on Joe Biden, but when he does something good, I think he deserves credit. Now, if Ted Cruz saw that Joe Biden was giving tax cuts to the rich or starting a war or cutting Social Security, I'm sure then he'd praise Joe Biden. But when he does like the one good thing uh, with regard to climate change that we expect him to do, of course, now Ted Cruz has something to say. But before I tell you what Ted Cruz said about Joe Biden rejoining the Paris Climate Accord, uh, we're going to take a little bit of a detour because I think it's really funny to see the internet clowning on him and dunking on him because he put out some tweets about the inauguration ceremony and folks on both sides of the political spectrum were shitting on him and it was really great to see this is the kind of unity that i want to see where we all team up to collectively denounce and shit on ted cruz the clown who incited a violent insurrection just a couple of weeks ago let's not forget that but as for the tweets that we're talking about so he tweeted out a video of lady gaga performing the national anthem and also a video of j-lo performing and as you can see here by the comment to like ratio he got dogpiled on <laughs> and this was great so let's go through some of the comments here so this person says looks like the pizza gang is all here uh which is an implication that uh these are all pedophiles this is a reference to pizzagate uh incredibly batshit insane this person says the devil worshippers are congregating together today they are wanting their new world order to be brought in for their evil master very very uh sound and coherent uh this person says there's nothing beautiful about anything involving the overthrowing of our government the election was stolen rigged election exclamation point uh so this is one of those times where you have to go along to get along and this person is very clearly not happy about Ted Cruz tweeting this out. So that's just like a little snapshot of the right-wingers who follow Ted Cruz, who were dunking on him, but you can also see a lot of lefties and even liberals dunking on him, saying that he should resign, calling him a piece of shit, and I, I just, like, this warms my heart to see people on the left and the right and on the center all shit on Ted Cruz. It's just really beautiful and it, it makes me feel, dare I say, patriotic. <laughs> An emotion that only Ted Cruz uh, can get people to feel uh, by our united hatred of him. But let's get to his tweet about the Paris Climate Accord because I assure you it is absolutely fucking idiotic. He tweeted out, By rejoining the Paris Climate Agreement, President Biden indicates he's more interested in the views of the citizens of Paris than in the jobs of the citizens of Pittsburgh. This agreement will do little to affect the climate and will harm the livelihoods of Americans. Now, he was so proud of this tweet that he actually doubled down on his personal account, which is the same account where he liked porn on, by the way, and he tweeted out, Who do you stand with? Paris or Pittsburgh? If you support blue-collar union workers, if you stand for jobs, get your free bumper sticker here. And then you have to sign up for his email list, where he will constantly solicit you for donations. Now, first of all, let me just say, the Republican Party is not the party of unions. Ted Cruz is not an individual who supports unions, because let me remind you that in 2013, he co-sponsored the Right to Work Act, which is literally 
a national union busting bill. So anyone who supports this effort, the so-called right to work effort and the right to work act, they are not a friend to unions. You support this legislation if you intend on busting up unions. Second of all, why is he using this Pittsburgh and Paris thing? Like you're not from Pittsburgh, you're from Texas. And this doesn't just affect the citizens of Paris. Climate change impacts everyone. It's a global issue. We all live in the same planet. So it's stupid, but he's so proud of it because, you know, Pittsburgh and Paris both start with a P. So, you know, it, it kind of just rolls off the tongue. This is idiotic. Uh, so, of course, folks dunked on him for this. Uh, but my favorite response is from actor and comedian Seth Rogen, who responded very simply by saying, fuck off, you fascist. To which Ted Cruz responded saying, Charming, civil, educated response, Seth Rogen. If you're a rich, angry Hollywood celebrity, today's Democrats are the party for you. If you're a blue collar, if you're a union member, if you work in energy or manufacturing, not so much. Me. Now, again, he's trying to pretend as if he's pro-union. Motherfucker, you supported the Right to Work Act. You want to break up unions, not support them, not embolden them. So shut up about that. Second of all, if you are going to say that Seth Rogen is an elitist, that's fine. I'd agree with you. He's a multimillionaire. I'm sure that he lives in a mansion. However, if the implication is that he's an elitist, but you're not, that's bogus. You're worth $4.6 million. That was as of 2018. So I'm sure by now he's worth well over $5 million. And I believe his wife works for Goldman Sachs. So if he's trying to make it seem as if somehow celebrities in Hollywood are elitists, but not him, a rich multimillionaire U.S. senator, that's just, that's just idiotic. But Seth Rogen responded saying, Haha, ha, get fucked, fascist. Go encourage a white supremacist insurrection again, you fucking clown. I love this. He also <laughs> quote tweeted Ted Cruz and said, if you're a white supremacist fascist who doesn't find it offensive when someone calls your wife ugly, Ted Cruz is the exact motherfucker for you. Also, I'm in four unions. So this is hilarious. And this is what Ted Cruz deserves. Like, is there anyone who is a bigger clown in politics Besides Donald Trump, I mean, Ted Cruz now, in terms of people who have power, he's one of the biggest laughing stocks in the country. You just incited a riot a couple of weeks ago. There are folks calling for your expulsion from the U.S. Senate. And now all of a sudden you're tweeting out about how beautiful the national anthem is, as if you're so patriotic when you literally are a traitor to the United States. And then he's trying to very clearly like position himself as this anti-establishment figure because he wants to run for president in 2024. He wants to be the next Donald Trump. So he's trying to be pro-worker and pro-union. Meanwhile, anytime there's an opportunity for him to bust up unions, he's there like that. He's on that like stank on shit. So Ted Cruz is one of the biggest frauds in America, but yet he tries to appear edgy like he's this outsider. No, motherfucker, you are the ultimate elitist insider. You're a bigger elitist than any Hollywood celebrity. Because you have power and money. They only have power. So, uh, you know, it really is beautiful to see everyone collectively team up to shit on Ted Cruz. You love to see it. This is what I think is going to bring us all together. Our uh, collective hatred of this complete fucking imbecile, Ted Cruz. Me. I'm Ted Cruz. Me. 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 Me.